Hey everyone, this is Josh at MusicLesson.com coming at you today with a video on holding your bow. This is our bow in its entirety, right? We're going to be focusing on this end of it right here today. <clears throat> this is your frog. This is your grip. This is your screw. Okay, and up here is the bow stick and then the bow hair. I'm going to be showing you how to effectively and properly hold your bow. Now, there's a number of different grips that people have uh, latched onto. You'll hear things like Colombian or Russian bow grip or Franco-Belgian bow grip. And I use uh, the Franco-Belgian bow grip, a slight modification of it, for myself. So I'm going to show you that here today. Okay, so we're going to start by this. Now remember, I am a left-handed violinist. We are very rare. But I'm a left-handed violinist. For you, it's going to go something like this. And I will do that. Okay, now, first we're going to take our thumb and we're going to put it uh, right on this little notch right here. Okay, this little space between the frog and the beginning of the grip. Now, some people will vary it. Some people will bring their thumb forward more. Some people will put their thumb actually on the frog. I find that this notch is very helpful right here. Okay, so this is you as a right-hand violinist. You're going to put your thumb right here on the tip. Okay, and then you're going to take your second and third finger, the one that, ones that are waving at you right now, and you're going to put the third finger on the frog, second finger on the frog, like so, okay? Now, they can be a little bit more spread out. They can be a little bit closer together. Again, you'll see a lot of variations here. This is one that I find that works pretty well. Then I'm going to take my pinky finger, the one that's waving at you right now. I'm going to put it on the tip, on the bow stick. We're not going to go onto the screw. Again, you'll hear people tell you to put it on the screw. I discourage my students from that, but if your teacher tells you to do that, more power to them, okay? Pinky finger undoubtedly goes on the tip though, okay? This is something that does not change between different people and different instructors. The pinky finger goes on the tip, okay? Now we're gonna take our first finger, the one that's waving at you right now, and we're going to put that on the grip. Now notice the grip kind of entails the winding and this little uh, rubber part right here. Now, again, different people will spread this out. I don't like it to be too spread out, I don't. Just, I like togetherness, unity. So we're gonna stay with a little bit of gap here and we're gonna take our first finger and we're gonna put it across the bow like so, okay? Now, when you're playing, notice, let's see if I can get a good shot of this, here you go. Notice that you're not going to have your knuckles too far above the fingers. These knuckles right here, at any point in time, are not going to be too far above them. The only time that that can remotely happen is when you're down at the tip. Okay, and we'll talk, we'll do a separate uh, video on bowing. When you're down at the tip, they can look like this. When you're at the frog, they look like this. When you're in the middle of the bow, they look like this. Okay, if you're constantly playing like this, this is going to be bad for your bowing, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's get back to the hand, to the issue at hand, the hand at hand. There you go. Okay, now this is a right-handed bow grip. Uh, we're going to flip back around here. Now, one little thing that I do for my students is I tell them, go ahead and flip the bow over and do that. Now, notice where the weight is resting. The weight should be resting between this knuckle on your finger and this knuckle on your first finger. Now, generally speaking, it's going to be more towards the second knuckle in your first finger. Let's take a look at that separately. Okay, we're talking right here. This is the knuckle that it's going to rest generally more towards. So you're gonna have the bow that's gonna rest about right here. Of course, it's gonna be on this bottom side, right? But it's gonna be in that general area right here, okay? So let's go ahead and make it once more. All right, and we're going to put our bow hand again. This is the right-handed bow grip. This is the way you will be holding it, or most of you at least. Okay, and it's gonna look like this, okay? Nice and curved fingers, all right? Let's get a side shot, nice and curved fingers, okay? And that's how it's gonna be. We'll talk more about the wrist and the arm later on. Flip it over, practice it, there you go. And that is the Franco-Belgian bow grip. I'll give you a quick shot of mine. Again, I am left-handed due to uh, an injury. Um, and so this is how I'm going to hold mine right here. And you'll see me holding this. One final note from my Suzuki students and a lot of my beginning students regardless, I have you put your thumb on the metal ferrule of the frog, okay? I have you put your thumb there on the tip. The tip is not gonna change, but the thumb is going to be right there, okay? So that's what I have you do when you're starting. If you're just a out and out beginner, that's what I have you do, and then we uh, migrate to the other hold, okay? All right, so I hope that that helped you out, and um, hope you learned something, and um, this has been another wonderful video at MuseLesson.com.